Hello and welcome back to the What Now Sustainable Energy Channel. And I know what you're thinking, what's the guy that's normally got the blue Victron shirt doing with the uh, in-phase uh, micro inverter in front of him? Well, our local Victron distributor, shout out to Kurt at Levtron, uh, set up some training with the in-phase guys and uh, decided to acquire some knowledge uh, on the in-phase uh, micro inverters. Microinverters have generally not been very popular in South Africa. We're traditionally a string inverter type of applications. And certainly um, with Victron and their own MPPT controllers, uh, that's been very much the architecture uh, here in South Africa. Of course, that's different in Europe and in the US, and I believe some US states it's actually mandatory to use uh, microinverters. They don't allow string inverters because of some of the risks involved. And um, certainly here, we tend to use larger panels, 550, 600 watt panels, and uh, only the latest versions of uh, M-Phase IQ8, HH, HC, and P series are handle up to 550 and uh, 670 watts of power. So, um, what's involved? Well, I bought, uh, we have a project uh, coming up where micro um, inverters are actually more favorable than string inverters. Um, this is because it's a distributed um, site and they've got lots of hot water cylinders or geysers um, in a big campsite and uh, we didn't want to have to bring all the wiring to a central place and then out again. So fitting micro uh, inverters to each panel um, is adv advantageous. Um, the panels are different orientations so as you probably know micro inverters uh, handle the power of each panel separately and then we're able to go uh, from there directly onto an AC connection using the Q-series um, cabling, pretty hefty, high quality cabling, expensive but really, really good quality stuff. Um, if you are going to purchase their stuff, make sure you get the tool because you won't get this out without the tool without damaging it. And uh, those are able to link directly into sub DB boards um, and cut down on the cost of the electrical wiring. And obviously, there are no uh, DC um, combiners, uh, fuses, and all of that other stuff. And then, of course, we discount uh, the actual inverter. So we're still using Victron inverters on the back end. Uh, we still have load shedding in this country, which is uh, basically the grid can't supply the full demand, so they cut the power off. So that means we need battery capacity to run uh, the sites. So um, Victron actually integrates with uh, Enphase, and it can be reported like an AC uh, uh, inverter, um, so, so an AC, AC PB can be uh, reported just like a Fronis uh, device on the VRM portal. So um, we're able to actually combine both technologies. Um, Ralph and his uh, crew from Emphase South Africa did the training and they provided me with the gateway. Uh, thanks for that. And some CT clamps. And uh, then I purchased my own uh, microgrid and controllers, uh, well, microgrid um, adapters. These are the IQ8HC series. The newer version there is a p version which is even more powerful than this um so uh this is a, at the start of a journey so the next video i'll be making if you uh, want to follow that please uh, feel free to subscribe or even give me a like if you think i have awarded it and um please uh, uh understand that there are lots of videos with highly technical information about these which I won't cover. I'm really discussing its application and the integration of Victron today. That's the, the main thrust of the, today's video. So I will be uh, making a second video about how to integrate these into an existing Victron installation, how they can actually complement each other, where the one scores versus the other. Um, obviously, uh, cost is a, is a factor. Um, if you look in Europe, the cost of a panel and the cost of a microcontroller are more or less the same. Here, um, panels are, are probably half the price, or close to half the price, with the new pricing that we're now getting here in South Africa, versus an imported high-quality American uh, product. But there are obviously pros and cons, as I mentioned before. You can eliminate quite a bit of the infrastructure by having a inverter on each panel that delivers AC directly. These are also three-phase enabled, uh, so are the cables, so is the actual um, communicator or the... Um, gateway uh, and that makes it pretty versatile um, 
Obviously, there's a big saving on wiring. So once this uh, microgrid is uh, connected to the, the rails and, and this is a plug-in kind of job, you can have a whole string of these uh, on one AC cable. And then termination um, is quite simple and goes into directly onto standard AC wiring. So if you'd like to follow me on my journey for the next phase, please, as I mentioned, hit the subscribe button. And uh, I will be working with uh, some of the technical guys um, on v at Victron, uh, Kurt and his uh, colleagues, as well as uh, some of the technical team, Justin, etc., um, at N Phase South Africa. Uh, it'll be in an interesting journey to follow. So um, let me know if in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to know.